Hi everybody, Miss Pettit here. So today we are going to be creating our very own Zentangles. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our hand, using our pencil, and we are going to be rendering our work with crayons, markers, color pencils, whatever materials you want to add color you can use, right? But for mine, I'll be using crayons because I'm in the mood to use crayons today. Um, but what are Zentangles, right? So Zentangles are a form of doodling, right? They're where we create different patterns or lines and shapes. I did more research and Zentangles were invented by two arch therapists named Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas. Now both of them believe in the power of art to calm people down and make people feel happier or relaxed, right? And so they created Zentangles, which is basically where you can create different patterns or tangles of shapes and lines that are repeating over and over, right? Or they could turn into a new pattern. And basically Zentangles are supposed to be a way for us to relax through artwork, right? So what we'll be doing is we'll first be tracing out our hand, we'll be drawing some big lines to divide our background into a couple sections. And then in each section, I want you to create your own Zentangle to go in. Now your Zentangle could be a checker pattern, it could be um, you know, polka dotted, or it could be a bunch of wiggly lines, or it could be, I don't know, a lot of eyeballs, right? <laughs> you can be very creative with this, right? When we, I'll be showing you how I do it as we go along. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. All right, so first step, we're going to take our hand, and we're going to take a pencil, and we're going to trace the outside. And there we go. All right, and next we're going to draw four lines. All right, now I got one, two, three, four, five sections where I'm going to do five Zentangle patterns. All right, so for my first pattern, I think I'm going to start simple and just create stripes. Now I think what I'm gonna do is to make this more creative, I think I'm gonna add different shapes inside of my stripes. Sometimes music helps me think more creatively. Um, so you could do that too. You could listen to your favorite album, your favorite song. Um, I know definitely I relax a little bit more too when I just listen to music and I draw at the same time. All right, so, so far I've done a lot of squares and straight lines. I think I'm gonna make more curved organic lines that are more curvy, uh, like nature, in the other parts. One thing that I want us to think about too is how did we feel before we started drawing versus how did we feel after we started drawing? Just like a check-in, right, on like how we're doing. I know before I started this drawing, I like just started my day and I was already thinking about all of the other big problems or the big responsibilities I had to take care of. But since I started drawing, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot more calm. Yeah. Now what I'm doing is I'm just drawing a lot of curved lines to create tangles that go in and out and behind each other. Because a lot of Zentangles tend to do that where they'll literally look like tangles, like little knots that weave into each other. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing a bunch of lines and notice how I don't go over, I go under. This is so that I can create the idea that these different shapes are in front and behind each other, right? Kind of creates space in my drawing.
All right, everybody, I'm all done. Um, obviously, this is a lot of coloring, okay? So feel free to take a break, right? And if you ever feel like you need to walk away from your artwork and, you know, grab a drink or relax or go watch some TV or do some other project for school, you can do that and then just come right back and pick back up where you left off, right? Um, yeah, so yeah, uh, that's about it, signing off. I would love to see what all of you have made. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.